Hello everyone, this is Catherine. I'm here to show you guys a quick tutorial on how to use the um, winterizing action and overlays that I sell in my Etsy shop. So, this is the finished product. Um, the action creates these two layers right here, and the overlays are these two layers right here. So I'm going to delete these, maybe. There you go. Delete those so that I can show you guys um, how it works. So this is the picture I started with. Actually, this is the picture I started with. It was pretty summery. Uh, it was warm. Everything was green. And um, I thought this would be a fun picture to try to winterize. And uh, I did. And then this poor little girl right here looked so cold and she was crying. I had to change her out. So I got her all snuggled up in a blanket and I did that instead. So, in order to make everything all wintry, you come up here to your actions panel and you find winterize 3.0 and then the only thing under there is going to be this one winterize action. Um, you just click play and bam, it does everything all in one click. Uh, you've all of a sudden got this winter wonderland. So, the next thing you do is you add some snow. So you come over here to the snow overlays. These are included in the digital download. So you get the action and then you get these two snow overlays. And they're just JPEGs. So you open them up in Photoshop and then you use your selection box. You copy it and then you go up here, edit, copy, bring it over here, edit, paste, and then you've got this weird black picture on top of your other picture and you're like, what is this? So <laughs> then you come over here, this is the um, layer styles panel. So you change the style from normal to screen. And ta-da, you have all of this snow, big fluffy snowflakes. And then if you want to, you can add these little flurries too. I think it makes it look a little more realistic because the snow that's further away from you is going to look smaller. So it adds a little bit of depth to the picture and makes it look like it's actually snowing. So then you add that. You change it to screen. Ta-da! You got some more snow. And then the next thing and last thing that you can do if you want is add a layer mask. So you just click this little rectangle down here with the circle in the middle and do that to both of the overlays and then what that does is it allows you to erase any snowflakes that are distracting or that you just don't want there so you get your brush and you make sure it's black because the mask is white so any black that you add is going to block things out so let's say for example you don't like this snowflake here because it's right on top of somebody's face or it's just super distracting you don't like it you just click and there it goes. Paints a little and goes away even more. And then you can do the same thing with the smaller ones. Like this really hard edged one right here is a little too distracting on that blanket. So just click and get rid of that one. Maybe get rid of that one. This feathery one up here. So we switch back. Get rid of that feathery one. Anything. Anything you don't like, you just get rid of it. And then if you decide, you know what, maybe I did like that feathery one, you can switch to white. And figure out where it was. Oh, there it was. And just paint it back in. And that's it. That is the action in a nutshell. Um, so have fun. Get some cool summery pictures. Turn them into even better wintry pictures. And thanks for watching. Alright, bye.